Thanks, guys. Okay, are you muted? All right. So, yes, I was muted. Let's start this over. <laughs> oh, my word. Oh, my word. How long have I been into it? A minute. So, I have officially been muted. Um, okay. All right. Let's just make sure everybody is sound. Now I'm sweating. Um, no sound, no sound. Okay, good to go now. Perfect. Okay, so for everybody jumping on now, <laughs> uh, let's talk all things antique acres. As I was saying, um, when you guys couldn't hear me, that, <laughs> oh, good Lord. Uh, that's, it's fun. It's fun. Right guys. It's fine. That's my go-to saying. I am going to make a shirt saying that it's fine. Um, but anyway, so a friend, um, and a fellow vendor, uh, from Antique Acres called me this morning and said she listened to my podcast. Um, and yeah, long, anyways, if you guys don't already Carrie from the junction, um, you should definitely follow her page. She's got some amazing pieces. Uh, she puts together the most beautiful displays. So she called me, she said she listened to my podcast and uh, I was just like, saying that she loved it. I'm like, oh, well, thanks. And then she said, how's Antique Acres coming along? And I'm like, yeah, that's coming up really quick. And uh, for those of you that don't know, next weekend, I will be with Jane Vellante, um, in Burlington, Wisconsin at her retreat. So I am hosting, um, a workshop there for her. So I will be down there on, uh, from Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So four days, I will be in Burlington at a retreat. Um, and I'm supposed to relax during this retreat. <laughs> so, um, you know how relaxing and me work together. Uh, so I have that, um, weekend totally like you know, like I can't do anything because I'm there relaxing. Uh, and then I have my annual girls weekend, which is the weekend before Antique Acres. So long story short, I have a lot of prepping to do. So we are going to get started on Monday. Um, oh, hey, Jen, stop by on your... I didn't realize your shop was... Um, yeah, I will definitely do that. I have to be down there by noon. Um, so and I, I've calculated it out and it's a two and a half hour drive. So Jen from Rustic Rehabs is on, guys. And um, yeah, so I'll definitely do that. I want to see your shop. Awesome. I'm not far off of 4145. Okay, perfect. I'll have to put that in the, into the Google or, you know, <laughs> into my maps. I always just put it on my phone and then it, it tells me where to go, you guys. Um, so yes, I have a lot going on the next uh, few weekends and that gives me limited time on the weekends to prep and prepare. So we have to do it during the week. Um, so I am just envisioning us just going along um, and doing different projects and coming up with different vignettes and things like that. So I think it'll be a lot of fun. A um, couple things that I want to just mention before we dive into that. Number one, do you guys remember my silver platter that I did with the new um, cottage colors? Uh, actually, I used one cottage color, Anvil, and everyone was very concerned that I did no prep work to this and if it would scratch off or chip off. And you guys, I mean, it is, it is on there. There is no scratching, chipping. It's rock solid. I did not seal it with anything. So I just applied it. And then we used um, pennies from heaven to just accent all the detail on here. And I'm loving it. So I wanted to just mention that because that was a big question as I was painting it. Everyone was very concerned with that. <laughs> so uh, let's see here. Um, yes, Google me or let's chat. I got a, I got the flu. Oh, happy crafting. It sounds like go time. Yes, it is. Um, oh no, get better girl. Um, yes. So, um, I haven't heard back from you, Jen, but I did hear back the first time when you said it's go, it's you're, you're in. So I'm just going to throw it out there. Um, anyone uh, that doesn't follow Jen from the Rustic Rehabs, 
Um, she is going to be at my October event. So I invited her and she, I hope, I hope it's still a yes. Um, but she said she agreed. I, so I sent her over an email with a lot more details and stuff like that. Um, so I'm super, super excited. Not flew, got to fly. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. So she says, yes, yeah, she's in. Yes. Um, Awesome. All right. Get ideas and questions. Got ideas and questions. Okay, great. We'll, we'll chat, Jen. All right. So um, like I said, I wanted to just point the cottage colors out. It's, it's an amazing paint, you guys. So if you haven't tried it yet, definitely do it. Uh, I do have another order in um, to restock because it went, it went flying off my shelves. So let's see who's all on first um, since I've had technical issues and then, you know, all that good stuff. Um, let's start up here a little bit. Morning. Okay. So we have a lot on. Um, pray you have a terrific weekend. Good morning. Dove says good morning. Um, is that the sample size of the cottage colors? Um, okay. So I'll show you the sample size of the cottage colors. The sample size of the cottage colors is like this. So it's the same size as like the penny, all of the sample size jars, the eight ounces. So yes, that is the sample size. Um, I think she meant got to fly, not got to. <laughs> not, uh, all right. Um, okay. Cindy says she loves Jen. Me too. Uh, let's see here. I was just wondering when that was. Woohoo, excited. Okay, so um, yes, Antique Acres is the weekend of May 17th and 18th. And if you guys saw the picture that I posted on this live, oh my gosh, it's amazing. Uh, if you are in the area or want to attend an amazing event, uh, Wendy, my friend who hosts it, does an amazing job uh, picking the vendors for the event. And the vendors go big and they are picking like crazy leading up to it. Um, you, as you know, like I have like a storage unit full, a garage full. I have tons of stuff that I can pull together too. Um, and that is what we're going to start doing is pulling items together, creating different vignettes. I'm going to paint some stuff. I have been picking furniture and we're going to rehab some of that. Um, so I'm super excited. Um, let's see here. Now I have to be there. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, you do, Cindy. Um, so my October event is a three-day event. It's October 3rd, 4th, and 5th. It starts on Thursday. Um, it is at, at Antique Acres. And my friend Wendy, um, you know, worked. we worked it out. Uh, I'm taking over Antique Acres for three days. Um, and it's going to be a two-part event. So the barn will be full of all the vendors. And I am currently in the process of finalizing and picking all the vendors that are going in the barn. And then there is going to be a separate area and a ticket for uh, the three-day event uh, for all the workshops with the creatives. So it's going to be pretty darn awesome, you guys. I'm super excited. Uh, let's see here. Um, let's see who's all on. All right, we have Melissa. Hello. We have a Lorraine. Janelle, thanks for joining. Hello, Stephanie. I saw you earlier too, and then I had all my technical difficulties. <laughs> uh, awesome. Michelle, hello. Kathy, hello. Uh, Lori, thanks for joining. This is my first time here. What are you doing? Well, today we're just going to kind of chat about how the lives are going to be moving forward. Currently, we do a lot of upcycles and we kind of just work it out. I think what we're going to, it's going to be really focused on antique acres. So that's what I want to chat about today. I want to talk about antique acres. Um, I want to talk about, I found out my booth space where I'm going to be located. So that um, I'm actually getting the booth that I was in last year. And uh, Wendy likes to move people around, make it look uh, fresh and new all the time. And I love that. Um, but I also sometimes love getting the same space because <laughs> then I can kind of, I already know 
exactly like how much room I have, um, how the wall is and things like that. And so I can, here's like my little map from last year. Uh, what I do every year when I'm going to do a booth uh, or a vendor event, I just lay it all out. So if you guys missed all of that last year, definitely go back and watch some of the YouTube videos on it. There is one where I actually had, oh my gosh, I, I'm driving along. I'm going to the post office to deliver packages. And I'm like, there is no way that that um it was this it was such a beautiful arbor in the garbage I'm like I can get that in my truck I open up the back end of my truck I'm like it is not fitting in my truck and so I was like oh how am I gonna get it home I'm like I'll put it on top of my truck I always carry around ratchet straps so I got it on top of my truck I'm sure anybody driving by would have been dying laughing seeing that but I ended up getting it on top of the truck and ratcheted it down and it was it was sold the first day um so my booth totally changed but it was really cool i had a, like an arbor entering into um my space so we'll see how i change it all up i want to make it look new and different uh which obviously i'll have all different pieces but um, i had a really cool table in there um that actually was for sale all together, the table and chairs at the event. Uh, afterwards, I put it over at the Yield Goat and the chairs sold first. I typically don't separate, but she was like bound and determined to get these chairs. She loved them so much. I said, sure, I had other chairs that I could go with the table. And then shortly thereafter, the table sold separately. So it was good. All right, let's see here. I want to see. Okay, so uh, hello from Southwest Florida. Welcome, Lori. Uh, I already put my vacation time for October. Awesome. So wish I could be there a little far from North Carolina. It's decoupage Friday for me. Yeah, awesome. Good afternoon from the UK, hey? Thank you. Everybody saying welcome, Lori, to the first live. Good morning, Lisa. Uh, thank you, Kathy. I love decoupage. I love decoupage, too. Um, the vendors for um, this event, well, both events, uh, it is all, it is not supply. Well, there's no supplies. It's all like, pick, it's like really cool. Um Found, like they find all these amazing pieces, you guys. It If you haven't seen the video that I did from last year's Antique Acres, it is out on my YouTube channel. And I walk through, I believe I walk through all the booths. Um, I always showcase it. I have lots of photos, um, but they're all, um, they have finished items. So there's either like, hand, like um, upcycled, handcrafted, or um, picked like vintage items. And there are some of the best stuff. So uh, leading up to Antique Acres, all the vendors that are like are partaking in it, that's all they do is they just pick for this event and get in prep and prepare for it. And then they have the best displays. So some of the best, best displays. All right, um, let's see here. What is Jen's channel? Um, Rustic Rehabs. So if you, uh, go, she's on, I believe she does dabbles in YouTube, but she's really on Facebook a lot. So it's Rustic Rehabs. Hey, Joan, thanks for joining. Hello, Tiffany. Hey, again, son, at Wi Fi issues here, so I might be in and out. Oh, no. Oh, hey, Nikki. Uh, good morning from Plover. Long time no see. Finally, a day off to catch a live. Awesome. And I met Nikki at Antique Acres. Was that, was that last year or the year before? I'm like, it's kind of, they're all blending now, right? Um, are you going to have to walk everywhere in? Hope not. Um, so for Antique Acres, it's a, it's a big bar. Okay, so to give you a little idea of how the property is set up, um, for the May event, the barn is all full of vendors and there's, um, an area outside. Um, it's not, I mean, it's a, it's a larger property, but 
it's not so spread out. Um, so you can walk around and there's no rush. Um, you can just, some people stay there for several hours and they go through the barn and then they go through everything that's outside. And then there's another whole area, um, like a garage area and they go through that. And then there's another garage that's all set up. And there's like these amazing displays, you guys. So they're, it's just like shopping little stores all throughout the whole event. Um, it is very cool. There's no rush. Um, but yes, there is a bit of walking. Uh, so I, I, I'm sorry if, um, but that's how it is set up. All right. Good for you. Okay. Let's see here. My son calls me a hoarder because I always look on the sides of the road for gems like you, uh, found to make over, right? Yes, I, I can understand. My my children probably feel the same way about me, or I'm sure they do. <laughs> Hello. Um, I meant at your event. Okay, so at my event, how it's going to be set up is the vendors will be in the barn, and then there is going to be a separate area, which um, is where all of my the um the, the ticketed event is going to be and that's going to be completely separate so um there will not be a lot of walking around there everything will be in there so if you do want to go shop and you know go into the barn you're definitely able um there is a slight walk across the lawn to get to that but everything will be right in the one area um, and I wanted it definitely, um, uh, yeah, I wanted it separated from the event because, um, there was just no way we were going to be able to, uh, have where you guys could create different projects and be a part of a vendor event. So it's going to work out good. I was there last year, but we'll be back for it again. Woohoo! Awesome. Yes. So Nikki was there. She can tell you how awesome it was. It was pretty awesome. It is always awesome. So good morning from Dublin, Texas. Hello. I'd love to come and meet you, but my kids won't let me drive that far. Oh my. <laughs> tell your kids to drive you. <laughs> they can do something else that's very fun. Wish I could go there maybe next year. Let's see here. I wish I lived closer. I would love a good barn sale. Love this. Yes, it's so fun. Um, the doctor moved back my surgery back up to this Monday. I'm so nervous. Oh, Kelly. Good luck, girl. You're going to be fine. Everything is going to be fine. Um, so let's talk about plan in the booth. Um, just to, that's where I always like to start as well. Um, so like I said, I like to lay things out. So what colors, you, my viewers, as I'm setting up or getting prep in my booth and I'm going to be painting a lot of furniture, what colors do you think are going to be the hot ticket this spring? Uh, it definitely is a spring event. And that's where I always start with my, my display are all my big pieces first. So I have, I'm trying to think, let's see, I have a I have a table that I have to redo. I have chairs for the table. It's a round table, so I'm gonna have that. Um, I do have like three or four dressers. Um, so um, that is definitely, I'm gonna have some dressers. I'm probably gonna be on the hunt for a hutch. So what colors are you guys thinking? Um, let's see here. Oh, Elisa, 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 you must be just jumping on. Laugh out loud. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> oh, let's see here. Um, you will do good, Kelly. Just walk, 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 praying for a speedy recovery. Yes. Oops, silly speech to text. Yeah, everything's going to be great, Kelly. Oh, my goodness. West Coast Contessa. No way. Peach, she said. Ha, ha, ha. No peach. No peach. Um, so I was thinking, um, I was definitely going to add, I have a lot of color in my booth, so I was definitely going to be adding some whites, obviously. Uh, but I always like to have like one focal, um, focal piece and nobody's telling me what they think for colors. So 
Um, but I just, like I said, I wanted to jump on. I wasn't going to be on long today. I just kind of wanted to chat about where, um, like I said, I'm going to bring you guys. I think, well, it is beautiful today. I could have probably brought you outside today and started working on stuff. I just wasn't as prepared, um, you know, for that. So, uh, but yes, I'm going to just start doing that. Oh my, did I just see earthquake? Hi everyone from New Jersey. Just had an earthquake. Okay. Oh my Lord. That is not good. Okay. So Karen says Pacific or Juniper DIY colors. Oh, that is a really good idea. I should do Pacific. Um, that is a really good idea. I think I'm going to. Um, so yes, that is uh, an, a really good idea. Okay. So plum pudding. So people are liking. Stephanie says, I like peach. I like rustic cream colors are beautiful. Perfect. Laura was saying shades of blue. Yes. I was thinking Juniper, but blinked on the name. LOL. <laughs> That's okay. I love the new cottage colors. However, I don't quite see them as spring. Maybe a couple of them with a mix of previous DIY cottage colors. Um, yes. So I am thinking I like Pacific. I think blue is going to be like super, I think it's going to be a new hot color. Um, yep. Yes. Do Pacific. Yes. Um, so I'm definitely going to do that. Um, what are, what are we picking? Um, we're picking paint colors to paint the main furniture pieces. So that's where we're going to start. I am definitely going to be having furniture pieces that we're flipping. I have a bunch in my storage unit. Um, so for instance, I have this table and four chairs and the tabletop I'm going to sand down. So it's just going to be, I'm going to do like, bring it back down to the wood and I picked it out of the garbage. So um, it's got the most, it's got a really beautiful base to it. It's really big and round and it's a round table. And I was driving home um, from dropping my daughter off at school. Next thing you know, there it was. So that is going to be one of the very first things that I prep is the table and chairs. I have several dressers. I also have, um, I shouldn't even mention it because I, I did not even paint it, but I think I'm going to, it's the, um, there was a name. I picked it out of the garbage. I rescued it. My neighbor, Jenny across the road, text me. I just saw this really cool piece of furniture in the garbage. I'll help you get it. If you want me to, I said, absolutely. So she was jump in my truck. Uh, so I jumped in her truck and we went there and it is, oh God, there's a name for it. I cannot think of it, but it's where it's got the turn handle and it's an old rate. It's like for records. Um, somebody tell me what they, what it's called. Um, let's see here. Or Birdie by Sweet Pickens if you did uh, milk paint. That's a good idea, too. I like that. I like Birdie. What is the joke about Peach? <laughs> so Peach was considered um, the color of the year. And we all don't think it should be the color of the year. Well, a couple like it. But um, many of us do not. So that's kind of the joke about Peach. <laughs> Good morning, Claudia. Thanks for joining. Um, okay. So, oh, Kelly, that's okay. I totally understand. Are you choosing for spring or summer? So um, my May event. So May 17th and 18th um, is the event. And that's what we're going to start painting first. So you guys, I'm just going to um, grab an item and then bring you guys along painting it and prepping it and getting it all ready, whether we put a transfer on it, but it's just going to be like the live prep of that. So, um, uh, oh, Vic, oh, there it is. Victrola. Okay. It looks like several of you Victrola. Yes. So you guys remember when I picked out the Victrola? <laughs> I'm going to, I'm taking that and we're flipping that too. Um, so I am painting it. I am so sorry. I looked it up and there are, there's a serial number on it. And this one is not as valuable as some of them. So it wasn't, a, it was more of like the mass produced Victrola versus the not mass produced. So that is going to be one item that will be there. And I'm going to just paint the outside and make it look all beautiful. So 
Oh my gosh. One lady actually called me about it. I'm trying to remember if she was from Florida. She has the exact same one or has one. And she's like, I saw that you found this. What did you do with it? I said, after I got such like all this feedback that I shouldn't do anything with it, I just didn't do anything with it. And it's in my garage. And my husband's like, when is this getting out? So um, definitely it needs to come out. Pacific is nice, but if you want to sell, Juniper is my guess for the best. Okay, Juniper, got it. Yep, everybody is saying Vic Victrola. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. I'm so glad that you guys all knew what I was saying when I talked about the turning and the music and all that good stuff. When um, I I just couldn't I couldn't have it come to me. Peach is so 80s. It is. I cannot believe it's the color of the year. They couldn't do any better. <laughs> oh, uh, oh drive-in just cannot do that. Oh, I understand, Kelly. Uh, hi from sunny, warm Texas Panhandle. So excited about Antique Acres. Wish you could just take us along on a live camera. Seems people are painting a lot with shades of spring blue and some peach. I'm thinking... I think I'm going to do some like light. I think I'm going to do some blues, some lighter blues. I really think that that's going to go over good. Um, I actually might paint a piece with like anvil too. Um, I just always like a, like a statement piece to really ground it, some whites, and then probably some blues. I like to have like somewhat of a color theme. Um, yeah, uh, let's see here. There was something else I was going to say with that. Cannot remember. I uh, uh, love peach. I painted peach over mint on a plant stand. Super awesome, distressed. Oh, cool. That sounds like fun. Um, thank goodness it's not valuable. <laughs> it's not. Well, I haven't done anything with it yet because I didn't. I'm like, I better research it before I do anything with it. Uh, my friend Tara, she was thrifting and she found this piece and she thought it was really cool and she painted it. And then after she painted it, she then did her research and the original piece um, had been listed or going for on several platforms, like $1,600. And she had just painted the entire piece. So it was really cool what she did with it, but she kind of was sad because she's like, had I known, she's like, I should have researched it first. So, all right. I like the mint green colors. Yes. I like the, I think like a, a bluish minty green um, would be really good. French eggshell by Fusion would be pretty too. Yes. Like those colors. Yes. That's where I'm, I'm thinking. All right, so Kelly, she's doing a test email for you. Let's see, the new blue, it can be used all year long. I, I agree. Um, Kelly, are you in Wisconsin? She is actually, I think, in Michigan, which is right on the border. Okay, so that's where we're gonna go. We're gonna start with the furniture pieces. I probably will start with the furniture piece and then bring in some other small pieces. Um, oh, that's what I was gonna say. Um, when some, I don't remember who said about doing a live there. I am planning on doing that for you guys. So um, Antique Acres, it's a Friday and Saturday event. So we are able to set up the week prior. And what I am going to do is everybody has to be set up, I believe, a certain time on Thursday. And then they do a live on their page. So I will probably do the same thing. Just walk you guys through it. Um, and though you'll see how like the walking um, from across the yard to the different buildings, but it'll be you guys will love it. So that is definitely something I will do. Um, so I might go live like on Thursday because I won't be live Friday because I will be there <laughs> all day. Um, so unfortunately, I will not be able to squeeze that in. Um, let's see here. Good morning. Watching from Costco, waiting for my car to get fixed. Oh my gosh. That's awesome. Oh, absolutely love your channel. Bless you and have a great weekend. Thanks, Lorraine. Um, hi, Sana, just joining late. Sorry. That's okay. We're just chatting about, uh, moving forward and today's going to be just a real quick live. You guys, I just wanted to jump on 
um, give you an update on the cottage colors and the plate that we, or the metal uh, silver platter that I did no prep to and how well the cottage color anvil is holding up on it. Um, I literally scratched it and it would not come off. So it is a great paint. Um, I, you know, it just definitely is, it's got a great base. So um, wanted to definitely uh, talk about that, talk about antique acres and give you guys an update because of a phone call I received this morning and it just made me like start getting like, oh my gosh, I better get my, um, you know, get an order. <laughs> I almost said something else, but I better get my stuff together. Um, and that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to start, I'm going to grab items and hopefully we have some warm days um, so I can bring you guys outside with me. And hopefully during the daytime, it won't be as bad. Like I know like the neighbor kids love being outside, which I love because not often are neighbor kids actually outside playing. They're normally on their phones. So I love it that they're outside on their swing sets, playing, making noise and all that good stuff. But when I did a live this last summer, um, I did it in my driveway, which kind of is near their backyard. And so they were on a couple of the lives too. So it's okay. Um, let's see here. All right. Uh, I am totally into blues normally, um, but but I don't know what that is, but, um, but curious about other colors. Okay. Sun, it needs to wear a pro a GoPro so we can see that day in a life of Sonnet, right? Oh yeah, I do have a GoPro. I could put one on. <laughs> oh my gosh, that would be awesome. I should do something like that. Oh, let's see here. Uh Stephanie, write these numbers down. Oh gosh. Okay. Um, so she's curious about other colors. Did I miss anything? Over here. Hopefully we'll have nice weather now that Mother Nature got that last blast of winter out of her system. Yes. Yeah, so I went out there today and it's warm. I mean, the, we, I don't even know what we ended up with, like a foot of snow maybe. And it is melting fast. So I don't, I can't, if it stays at these temps, I can't foresee that it's going to be there long, which is good. Um, I like how it was really packed full of a lot of moisture. So it was like a heavy snow. Uh, so we had a very light winter without a lot of, uh, snow. So that will hopefully help with those counts. Um, definitely. All right. So just to wrap it up, um, I am definitely going to lean then now towards the blues, uh, what I'm going to start with is why don't I grab the table and chairs and we'll just start working on the table and chairs. I'll show you the before, what I plan on doing with it. I'll probably have, we can talk about the top and um, picking different colors. I have been seeing, and I don't know if any of you guys have tried it because I have not, uh, but a lot of people that are using fusion uh, paint, mineral paint, use certain colors and they like do a, a, they water it down and they do almost like a wash and it makes it look like a stain. So does anybody know about that? Um, let's see. Uh, holy, I think that means, holy cow, you got more snow. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yeah, heavy snow melts faster in warm temps. So I agree with you. That should be gone soon. I hope so. Um, but yes, uh, you guys are you guys are killing me. Um, holy cow, more snow. Yes, more snow. I am like so over the snow. You have no idea. So I think we're gonna start with the table and chairs. So I will be bringing that here, and we'll start there. Oops. <laughs> um, but uh, so I think with the table and chairs. I am going to lean um, into those blues. So I'm actually, I am thinking, I am thinking, or I am feeling uh, French eggshell. I think you guys, I'm trying to remember who said that. I'm really thinking French eggshell for the table and chairs. So the, the base of the table, um, or maybe I could paint the base of the table a different color, and then the chairs, the French eggshell. And the top, I want, I'm going to sand it down. So I'm not sure yet on the color of the top. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments uh, what you guys think. So if you don't know what French eggshell looks like, do I have it here? 
Oh no, this is Inglenook, which is kind of similar to French eggshell. Inglenook is pretty too. I have French eggshell over here. I'm going to show you guys. Let's see. Um, I'm like, or maybe I won't. I ended up getting a whole bunch of paint. I have to put it all away. So this is French eggshell. If you guys can see it. It is so pretty. It's like a little bit darker than Inglenook. So I really like that. I'm going to paint the, I think I'm going to paint the chairs that. Um, all right. Do you have a specific number of items you take to antique acres or just whatever you feel like taking? So what I do, I should talk about this. What I do is I always start with the base items. Um, so I, I actually try to draw out a diagram of what items I have and where I would place those and create little vignettes. And then from there, then I grab some medium pieces and figure out where I'm placing those and then add some smalls in. And I try to, um, basically that's how I started. And I got to get going because I don't have any of my big pieces done and you need something with substance and have those done. So that's what I'm going to work on first. <laughs> I would go for the French eggshell on top of the table and a different color for the bottom. Sonnet, are your hens laying? <laughs> Though uh, they just started, actually. There's like an egg here and there. Um, but hopefully soon, hopefully soon. Um, we only got six inches gone. Okay, so snow. More in northern Wisconsin. We got only six inches gone yesterday. A lot of flooding along Rock River and others. No rivers near me. Okay, good to know. <laughs> I was like, what? More snow? We don't want more snow. Um, so Lori agrees with Lorraine on the French eggshell. Okay. Awesome. All right. So I think um, that's where the table is headed. Uh, it actually is this like pale yellow. The previous person had done like this pale yellow to it. Um, I'm just not, I mean, it, 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 it does kind of scream spring, but I have a, I have a different vision for it. So that's where it's going. Um, what is the cost difference of fusion and DIY paint? Um, so this is $28.99. And it is 16 ounces and the, um, the, the, the all, one step, um, is 16 ounces as well. And it's 28.90 or no, 28.50. I'm sorry. So 28.50, which I have to fix on my website. I put 28.99 as well and it's 28.50. So I have to fix that. So I apologize guys. Uh, what about a whitewash over the raw wood tabletop? Okay, so Melanie, that's what I was um, thinking something like that because uh, I haven't have to do more research. But what I have seen out on the Fusion, they have like a group page and everyone is talking about taking like um, some of the lighter colors and doing, making a white, like some type of wash. And it, it's almost looking like a stain then. So it looks really cool. I have yet to do it. So I think that like for a while, I think like a lot of the dark, dark tabletops were really in. And I think that lighter look is coming back or like the whitewash or so I'm thinking something like that. Um, but I think a dark top would look really cool against this too. I don't know. I don't know. But yes, that's what I'm thinking too. So that's what we're going to start tackling on Monday. Um, hopefully uh, it's staying late, lighter later. Um, otherwise, my other thought is to bring you guys out to my studio. If I can bring you into my studio, um, then that might work as well. Um, I don't know how good... Um, I haven't tried the Wi-Fi out there yet, so we'll see, right? Uh, but what a great time to try it out. So maybe I'll do a test live over the weekend out there or something like that. All right. So I think I'm going to wrap this up, you guys. Um, I just wanted to, like I said, 
give you an update on the cottage colors and how well they hold up. I was happily surprised about that. And then where we're going with this. So always an adventure with Sonnet. Yes, absolutely. So we are going to tackle the table and chairs next week, guys. So be ready for that. And that is going to be Monday. Um, I'm going to snap a photo of it. And then hopefully we can get it, um, get it here and up and like get it done next week. Wouldn't that be nice to have the full table and chairs complete it? after our three lives next week. So you guys have a great weekend and don't forget my anniversary, my three-year anniversary video is coming out tonight. I have it all edited. It took me forever, but I have it all edited and ready to go for you guys. I just need to upload it. So hopefully everything will go good and be watching for that tonight. It's a long one, but you guys... It just, I, it was like a look back in time. That's all I have to say. You guys hopefully will love it. Um, but we'll see you Monday and have a great weekend. Bye guys.